bush. So this here is about two yes, four liters of water, mm -hmm. which is equivalent to one gallon. All right. So we're going to use thirty ml of the tire oil. Now usually you would, you would use a spray can, but because it's just a small amount, you know, just using this. So, also that, that is mixed up thoroughly. That, this bait station now was drenched with the tire bin. And the last thing we do is the beer. This is the beer here. We will not use an entire beer, but just enough to attract the snails. Okay. So the bear now will work as an attractant. And the snails will, they will come here, they are going to feed and die right here. So within this, this area here, the tire vein will work as a stomach poison. It does the, the benefit of the tire vein as opposed to other baits is that. It does not only control the adults, but it also controls the eggs. Because we know, at one point of time, every snail can carry two to three hundred eggs. Which is an average of about five hundred to one thousand eggs per year. Alright? So this is a serious issue. And the disposal of this, this should be burnt. Alright? or either buried at least three feet below the sun. This is the recommendation. So it's either you burn them or you bury them. All right? If you leave it in the open, although the eggs cannot hatch again once they feed, um, there's a very bad odor, all right? It gives off and for, for at least a couple of days, depending on how much snails have been killed here. All right? So that is, it. That is the trap. This is the method, very simple, very effective, very cost effective. So you're looking at maximum about two to three dollars one of these bait traps would cost because you wouldn't use your good vegetables. You would use vegetable scraps for this purpose. And one of the reasons we had used the banana and the cabbage is because the snails apparently they, they like this a lot more than the other veggies and so on, all right? So the cabbage leaf and the ripe bananas is ideally the, the thing that you would like to use to set up as your bait. Okay? So this is it. So on behalf of Carlson Chemicals and myself, I would like to say thank you very much to all you officers who have come out here this morning. Um, I really appreciate it. Right? So I hope you all got the information. If you all have any questions, you can always ask me now. Yes. Okay, so first of all, if there is rain, does that affect the effectiveness um, of this? If there is extreme weather, it, it, may, if, it may have an effect. All right, so one of the, the simplest things one can do is include a, um, a surfactant. Surfac is a good one. Spread a sticker and penetrant. All right, and that will work just in case the rain is falling heavy and so on that will help to prevent the wash off all right other than that no we haven't had any experience with that so far even during the rainy season and so on the snails have been dying it has been very effective and very cost effective so a lot of farmers are adopting the method all right and as again on behalf of carlson chemicals i want to say thank you very much to all of you here for coming out. I know the sun is hot, <sighs> ants is biting and so on. But thank you very much again on behalf of Carlson Chemicals. Oh,